Hi everybody, uh, so it's that time of month again, uh, as you may have seen in my other videos, I uh, subscribe to something called uh, Modelbox, yourmodelbox.com, and it's basically a, a hobby box full of uh, miniature wargaming figures, uh, paints and, and other materials and potentially some scenery for your tabletop wargaming. Uh, the subscription is $23.99 a month plus delivery, so that costs me um, £29 a month, <coughs> I live in the UK. Uh, so what I do in these videos is simply just unbox it, show you what we get. Uh, you may be interested in it if you are, great. Uh, if not, you can just watch me open mine and see the kind of things you get. So I believe the theme for June uh, is Western, which is quite cool. So hopefully some stuff in there, you know, from my own collection, which I've got a various bits around the room. Uh, Wild West Exodus, which I played the new rule set at UK Games Expo. That looks quite exciting. So I've got some scenery bits up there that I've got for Wild West Exodus when I get a when I get a table together for it. So yeah, here, let's see who's in here. See what stuff is usable. So <coughs> I've already cut it. So let's have a look. Okay. Make sure this is work on the camera. Okay, it looks like it should be fine. So usual uh, black stuff in there. I always check this stuff because I have once when I did one of the videos a long time ago, um, just threw this stuff away, and there was it was actually luckily before I threw it away, I actually found a paintbrush uh, sort of mixed up in the stuff here. Um, so I'm just checking that's not the case, and it's not okay. So first of all, I can see pretty much everything in here immediately. So let's have a run through here. So we've got uh, Crusader Miniatures, and it's the Joe Gang. Big Joe, Little Joe, and Ugly Kid Joe. So it's three metal cowboys. Hopefully I can get that to kind of focus on the camera. It's never great. I apologize, I do just use a stand. I don't do this in any way of quality whatsoever. I just use a standard webcam and my laptop. So hopefully you can see that. Crusader Miniatures. So they're quite cool. Uh, you know, would I, I think things that come into my head that I could use them for is almost like standby figures in, in sort of a western scene. Whether I actually played with them in a, in a game or not, I don't know, but they might be quite cool as kind of you know, innocent standby that we could get shot. Um, what else we got? Okay, so straight away we've got uh, a Wild West Exodus figure. There we go, so it's talking about that. And there's one in the box. So this is Mimreg Helios. It's a bit difficult because I want to get the stand out of the way. That is actually. I'll just open the packet. There we go. So I'll open the packet and see if you can see that in the camera. Not too well, but you get the idea. Comes with a standard base. Well, try to the model. That probably doesn't help. Luckily, at this here load of others. There you go. So there you go. That's a, a Wild West Exodus figure. So the, the second rule set for that's coming out, I've got the entire um, two player starter set painted up and, and hardly ever used, so it's a really great ski. see the second rule set of that come out that I can play with. So the next in the box is going to be something from Dead Man's Hand, and I'm going to try and position this guy a little bit. So it's a single model, bear with me one second, if I can get to stand up for you, there you go. Dead Man's Hand figure. Again, I've heard of that, I've not played it or seen it. I know it's a more traditional Western style and it looks like it fits very well. If I put these guys side by side, it fits very well with the old Joe's gang. So you could see them obviously being in the same game together. Uh, it doesn't say who this guy is. He looks like an older fella. He's got sort of rag raggy clothes and a rifle. So there you go. Uh, what else have we got? So we've got uh, some paints from Foundry. Now I've not got these. I tend to use um, Games Workshop Citadel paints and um, the Army Painter. I've got the uh, I've got that mega bundle set for for Christmas from my wife, which is very nice. Um, but this is Foundry's paint system. So there's actually two of these. I'm why I'm rustling bags is because they've actually come in little bags some sort of advertising on them as well. So there's two paints in there. Uh, first one is, uh, yeah, definitely Western themed. Uh, first one is Rawhide. Rawhide. Can't help but say that when you see that. Uh, the other one is Drab. Again, both browns, you know, probably good for various leathers, saddles, horses even, all sorts there. Eh? 
Uh, I don't think there's anything on here. No, this is just advertisement. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Second edition rule book, Wild West Exodus. They were handing these out at the UK Games Expo, so you could have easily picked this one up. Um, and it just allows you to download. Well, I don't think it needs a bit of paper. I think they were just saying you can go to the website and download it anytime you like, really. Okay, uh, another piece here, a bit more sort of marketing material. I have noticed in, in the last few boxes there have been more marketing materials in the boxes, and I guess that probably helps model box help subsidise some of the contents of the box. So I'm not really too bothered about that, it just means there's a bit more paper within there than there used to be in the first few boxes. So <coughs> this one's from Great Escape Games, I'm telling you about the cool stuff they do, which is absolutely fine, but not really interesting to you. Um, another one here from uh, North Star Miniature Figures. So. Oh, sorry, military figures. Uh, I use them guys for getting sort of um, lots of frost grave stuff. <laughs> and then this is funny the last thing in the box, which is nice to see actually. It's, I like the boxes when you get a bit of scenery. I had something before in one of the other ones, I think it was a fantasy uh, themed box. It was a, a warp gate for um, uh, Age of Sigma, so that was quite cool. Uh, but this is quite funny because I actually own this. So, in a second, so this is uh, from TT Combat, it's that side actually. TT Combat, which I love their stuff. Uh, I bought from Salute earlier this year um, the the wrestling ring to go with Rumble Slam, which I need to put together. But the, the TT Combat stuff I think is fantastic, super cheap, uh, and just looks really good. But if it, by magic, if you wait there a second, I haven't actually got around to painting it yet. But that is what that looks like. So that comes in the box. It just so happens because I had it just above me because I actually need to paint it. That's what it looks like when it's built. So the, the roof comes off, and inside there's a sort of you know a safe room with a safe in the back. Uh, I've not had much success. Actually, I might as well talk about it whilst I was here. Um, I used to, I have been just airbrushing these directly with paints, and I found that the MDF or the HDF, whatever this is, it's it is MDF, just sort of soaked up the paint. Um, so whilst I was at Salute this year, I asked someone at the TT Combat stand and they told me about this stuff. So this is an MDF sealer, which apparently you paint literally liberally on the mod on the on the scenery and then the paint won't soak in. So I haven't tried it yet. Uh, actually um, I may do it tonight. Um, give it a go, see how that works. Anyway, we're going off topic, we're not talking about what's in the box. So that was in the box and if you're interested, that's what it looks like. And if I open that up again, I think that was it. Okay, yes, that is it. So just to quickly recap, the bank for the Wild West. Uh, perfect for 28 scale, 28 millimeter scale models. Um, probably even 32 inch, 32 millimeter, 32 inch. That'd be incredible. Um, old Joe's gang, three metal models in there. The old guy with the rifle. I'm always interested because I think other people get different models. I don't think it's always the same model, so maybe you'll get something different in your box compared to the one I've got. Uh, and then for Wild West Exodus, it was Min Meg Helios. I'm probably getting that name wrong. She looks like a badass with her armor and her two handguns. I will absolutely completely get that painted up. But well, while I'm here, I might as well show you this. This is down to my right. Uh, I picked this up for free from Salute. So. That I have two new Wild or Sexist models to paint, ready for ready for the second rule set. That's cool. Um, and what else was it? So yeah, so two paints as well. So we've got drab and rawhide. Yeehaw! And that is it. So all in all, five models, piece of scenery, two paints, and I am being right. That is it. So again. Uh, recapping on, you know, I've been doing this for a while now since I can't remember October last year, and and sometimes they hit some misses with the crate. You know, sometimes I feel like there's something missing, like I've not got enough value for the for the twenty four pound plus postage. Uh, this one feels like it's okay. It feels, I mean, I like getting the bit of scenery. It is a shame it was something other than the bank. I've got a few other things like the sheriff station and and the general store, but of course that's you know I can't blame them for that. It's it, 
if I somehow can make this into something else, I'm sure I can. Uh, I will do. Um, hey, maybe it's a big town. There's more than one bank in the town. Uh, it'd be a good place to rob. Um, but yeah, getting back to it, model's good. Uh, I will certainly probably use all of them. That's that's not always the case when I open these. Uh, two new paints. It'd be interesting to see what the foundry paint system paints are like. I've not used those before, so I'll certainly use those. Um, and that's it. So there you go. Uh, I will post this video up on, if you've not been there before, the Beast of War uh, website and obviously on YouTube. On Beast of War, I'm Laughing Boy and I'll post it on there. If you have any comments you want to make or questions you want to ask about this stuff, um, please do. Uh, tonight is the big hobby night live there, so if you're interested in watching a bunch of hobbyists work on some projects, go to the Beast of War website uh, and join in tonight, that being Thursday the 30th in case you watch this in the, in the future. Um, and that's it. I will probably be back next month. My subscription is still running. I haven't decided to terminate it yet, uh, so I'm keeping it going at the moment. I can't remember what the uh, what the theme is for next month, so that will be July's box. But I will be there and open it, and I will show you everyone what I got. All right, all right. Well, thanks a lot, everyone. Any questions? Leave some comments below. Uh, give us a like if you like the video, uh, and I will see you next month. Bye-bye.